for uh just rev that out that's actually a very perfect that was a lot of angle but What's up, everybody, and welcome back here to Forza Motorsport 7 for some more SSR content. We are staring down that V8-powered 370Z, that of my SSR car that we are running for the remainder of this season. Decided to switch to the 370 from the S chassis because I'm a little bit more comfortable in it, and, uh, well my qualifying showed so if you guys knew about qualifying for round one i didn't actually qualify in uh there was some issues when i was having with the car i wasn't handling how i wanted to definitely more solid in this 370z we're going to be sliding the z here today because we are on a tune by i tandem addy so i tandem addy was helping me out we are looking to try to dial this car in a little bit better and he was gracious enough to uh do a setup tune for me, and I'm going to test it out and see how it works. And then if it works, we'll get the numbers from him, and we'll uh, tweak it in a little bit ourselves. But, you know, Itanimati, great guy, definitely helped me out in SSR. So we are going to talk a little bit about qualifying before we go into just ripping this car. So two runs for qualifying was definitely a lot better this time than round one. My first run, a little bit shaky, wasn't kind of where I needed to be. I don't think it did anything to zero out, so I did get some points on the board. But then I was left with a dilemma. I was left with the dilemma of, do I go into the first corner of Road Atlanta and yeet that thing and try and go aggressive and potentially zero? And I had I and Maddie in my ear going, yeah, yeet it like I do on my runs. And I'm you know, sitting there like, I don't know, man. So I decided to do a conservative yet aggressive second run, which ended up being very good and uh almost on every single clipping point unfortunately i didn't hit record on my run so i don't have them for you but i was right where i needed to be entry was a little less angle than i've been able to throw before but i was uh trying to make sure that uh i didn't spin out or zero out i got my phone blowing up for me i'm trying to drift here well talk and then drift so that's why it was a conservative yet aggressive run it was definitely enough to where it should definitely put me into battles here for Sunday for round three of SSR here at Road Atlanta. So, enough talk. I know you guys came to see some drifting. You guys aren't here to hear me talk and blab and blah, 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 blah. So, we're just going to go into Road Atlanta here and send this car since I Tandematty did the due diligence to get this thing kind of set up for me so I can see how it works. Get the wheel cam turned on. Got our Fanatec all set up, tablet, dashboard, hydro handbrake. We are set on sequential mode because um, when I was tandeming it with it before, in my gear ratios, I had to downshift into third to follow through the horseshoe and then shift back up into fourth. So it's easier to be on the sequential dog box and just do a quick clutch pop and a pullback rather than trying to make sure I pull it back into fourth from third so I don't fumble out of gear. So we're going to go full send now. And see how this car works not sure how the gearing or anything is set on this don't know much about this car setup other than he you know did the due diligence on a wheel and kind of set it up looks like we're gonna be at the top end of fourth it looks like fifth is kind of just null and void which is good because fourth gear is kind of where I was gonna be anyways in my car but it looks like fourth gear on this tune is uh, more usable maybe I don't think we're gonna go into fifth so we're gonna definitely just have to play with the gearing on entry see where we sit on acceleration and uh, see where we need to put this car for initiation here at Road Atlanta we are running the original FD section where you enter in the horseshoe sooner than later so I know a lot of people be like oh you're running FD the Road Atlanta section wrong no I'm running the original one because that's what SSR runs so we're going to pop into the third. Looks like we're going to cruise in third to the 50. Pop it in fourth. Right on the top end of fourth on initiation. That's probably good. It's a little bit shorter than I wanted to be on that. But... The car feels pretty solid. It looks like it can kind of hold out angle. And it looks like we're using the top end of fourth gear. Which is good because 
I was using the middle to end, middle to lower high end on my tune. So gearing seems a little bit better in you know I tandem's tune. Um, big thank you to Addy for you know helping me out trying to get this car more dialed in. You know he is a competitor in SSR, but you know he's a good friend and he wants to uh, give me the best opportunity to uh, if we go against each other, you know to give him a run for his money. So I'm sure if I tandem Addy and I go together, it's going to be a brawl because uh, I do practice with him and uh, it's uh, definitely fun to go side door to door with that guy. So once again, th big thank you to him for uh, just rev that out. That's actually a very perfect. That was a lot of angle, but the car does feel good. It feels pretty, pretty snappy on transition and uh, kind of holds it. I like the gearing that he has set on this car because I don't feel I have to downshift where on my car I would have to downshift in the third. And it kind of uses the whole rev band because we are LS. This thing is popping off all cylinders right now. We are running the LS, so we are trying to stay in the higher power band rather than the shorter power band of the lower RPMs. Um, we would do the same thing in our turbo cars, keeping in boost. Uh, probably mid to high range, but we are trying to stay in the high range with this car. So we're, I don't think with this tune I'm going to have to downshift into third, which is uh, probably a good thing. So I'll have to get online and uh, get some tandem. So we're going to try clutch, uh, no lift shift. We're just going to quickly pop the clutch. Oh, there we go. Quickly pop the clutch and we're right in initiation. I think this tune is a little more settled than my tune was, except for right there, I kind of over clutch kicked it, shooting for that grass clip, you know, definitely been being helped by a lot of SSR drivers to uh, better my line and tunes and stuff like that. Tuning, I'm decent at tuning, but when it comes to uh, getting a car to handle specifically for tracks, I have a very well-rounded tunes that can drift tracks, but you know, when you're on a competition level, you need a more dialed tune per track and uh, I think Addy's done uh, definitely some due diligence with this tune here at Road Atlanta so definitely gonna be getting with him and uh, getting some numbers off him I do like how it hits peak RPM right pretty much on initiation brakes feel okay I can transition there without actually using handbrake which is probably better Clip that grass point, shoot me out with speed. Higher end of fourth gear. I feel like we could actually throw it into fifth because the way the gearing is set, we might be able to throw this car into fifth. We're gonna try running in fifth gear and see how it goes. Not sure if it's actually gonna work, but the way he has fifth gear, it looks like it's almost mixed fourth. So we might be able to throw a car into fifth, which would be very interesting. Third. Fifth gear. Initiate in. So fifth gear is a little bit kind of on the same power band as my car was when I was running my gearing. So we could run fifth if we have to, but I feel like we would get really slow behind the cars in chase but it is good to know that we have that ability we may try doing fourth and then shift into fifth out of the horseshoe and see if that helps because uh it looks like we could use fifth for a little bit of extra grip run um i know i know i was out running him a little bit through that last section and you know, i wonder if he dialed the car back a little bit you know sneakishly to make sure that i don't outrun him i doubt he would do that rev it out I do like how it hits that RPM band right as we enter in. It kind of helps me judge almost initiation points. It helps me be very consistent on initiation, I guess. So we're gonna try and pop this in the fifth. Yeah, we could pop this in the fifth on the lead if we wanted to get a little extra, a little extra sauce on exit. So we do have that option if we wanna maybe try and uh, pull a little gap through that end. We can pop ourselves quickly in the fifth with a no lift just quickly bang on the clutch bang it into fifth gear and uh send it on our way through the last section of the track so this car is very dialed and uh i'm definitely going to be getting the numbers off addy and uh 
tweaking it maybe a little bit brakes might need to tweak a little bit personal preference for my wheel setup um, I know his wheel setups definitely a little bit different that was a quick short shift but right pretty much right as the car revs out is when we're initiating I do like how this handles so like I said make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all of which are found in the description box below make sure you guys tune in to the SSR live stream on Sunday for round three of the SSR Pro Division here um, on Forza Motorsports 7. Um, hopefully I'll be in brackets. Um, I'm very confident with my qualifying runs, like I said, so I believe that I will definitely be in tandem battles in my 370Z. Um, not sure if I'll be running this livery or another one, but I'll be there. So hopefully you guys will see me in tandem battles. I'm pretty confident that I made it into tandem battles. I'm not worried at all like I was in round one so definitely would love to be able to give you guys a show here on the channel with tandems I need to work on that a little bit but I was kind of wonky on my initiation I'm much better chasing somebody because I have a car to judge on so definitely gonna be getting some more tandem practice tomorrow and Saturday as well as uh, beginning of the day Sunday before battles Pretty much we'll find out tomorrow, I believe, who where the brackets are going to be and where I'm going to play in round three. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track or on the streams. And as always, I'd like to thank you for all your support and all your comments. I'll see you guys next time.